<laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? What do we have here? Yo, chat. I'm looking for somebody. Can you find someone? I'm actually looking for uh, who's that? Yeah, I'm 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 looking for 120 hertz. Fucking hell, man! I'm waiting for so long and still no 120 hertz. Spec 2.45a and still no 120 hertz. Jesus Christ, man! I'm actually raging. Bro, yo, I don't know what the fuck is what the fuck is going on, but can we have some support for 120 hertz? I'm waiting so patiently, man. But okay, patch, a new patch dropped today. Uh, my by nobody. We we got a surprise drop yet again. Wow, wow. Okay, let's let's dive into the uh, patch notes. I don't think there's anything uh, anything potentially exciting. I think this patch is only for uh, the the Horizon players. That's it. The only way I can think of is this patch is for the Horizon Kupu. All right, chat. Let's dive right in to the patch nodes. Welcome, chat. Welcome. Thank you for joining the stream. Good morning, good evening, good night to some of you guys. Good afternoon. Oi, oi, oi. Let's go through the fucking uh, patch notes. Okay, this patch basically is the release of Jace, Caitlyn, and that's it. <laughs> and that's it. I don't know if they will be used in uh, Horizon Cup. I think they will be disabled. But uh, most probably, most probably, I think it won't be allowed. All right. This is patch... 2.5 a eyes up targets locked caitlin and jace will join wild Rift in a few days wow who knows when yet again who knows we're pushing balance we're pausing balance update soon in prep for the horizon cup that's true and there's something spooky going on in the skins department here's patch 2.5 a as if we we do celebrate uh the fucking halloween Bro, you, you get called police on if you, you show up in a ghost ghost costume. Okay, we have Caitlyn. Wow. A big uh, cocker. Oh, another big uh, cocker. Jesus Christ. Insane. It's it's looking pretty good. He's a little bit too young, I think. But uh, very nice. Skins. I don't give a shit, but this looks pretty cool. Bewitching Yanna. We have Underworld, Twist of Fate, Underworld, Wukong, yet again, Wukong, a new Wukong skin, are you kidding me? There are so many skins to be released for different champions that doesn't have a skin. Bruh, accessories, as usual, I don't give a shit. Like, come on, what the fuck is that? I have no clue. Oh, but this icon looks sick though. Sleeping, woke. Nice. Bobos, emotes, icons, events, question mark, I have no clue what the fuck they're doing. And uh, what the fuck is this? Begins November. Wait, did they say when they will when when it arrive? Jace will be released at November 9th at GMT plus eight. Wait, in how many days? I think it it's in one and a half weeks. Oh, okay. Champion changes. Auction, bro. Auction again. Okay, let's see. Maximum. And minimum bonus ratio adjusted. I think the O is two two stonks to be never used in the mid lane or the baroon lane. We'll see if Akshan gets to gets to see any pro play though in the Horizon Cup. I think it's just it's too, it's still a trash pick. Holy shit! The only thing that that is strong with Akshan is uh, wave clear. I think wave clear and the revive mechanic. That's all. That's all I think. Oh, moving on to Davius. Huh? Darius has been one of the most dominant picks in elite level of play for some time to promote champion diversity in the Baroon lane. We're reducing diversity. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Promote diversity. Have you seen the stats on, on uh, Summer Super Cup? Sea champions. It's all about Riven. It's all about Fiora. It's all about Renekton. And maybe some Darius. Maybe some Darius. Okay. 
true maybe some davis heal 15 to 45 percent down to 12 and 36 based on emily champions hit i don't think it it, it, it uh deals it i don't think it, this actually hits davis hard it's a small nerf but yeah whatever man it, it, it's still a good champion jia liao oh jia liao another change what the fuck while jia liao support presence was recently nerfed we're seeing him get stronger in the mid lane due to the input buffering changes how his abilities interact with flash and protobella chat in patch 2.5 this time we're further chipping away at his ultimate to address his omni omnipresence and dominance in pro play huh so cooldown has been increased by 10 15 and 20. Mm. i mean technically if you go ap you 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 ought to receive some uh well wait if you go ap does he have uh ability power no i don't think so i don't think so i don't think so but it's still okay you still have uh you still have global presence and everything it doesn't really it's not really a nerf just a cooldown reduction i mean cooldown increase but whatever man gravis gravis has spiked in both power and popularity over the last few patches as the metagame has become extremely favorable for him what i i, I second guess that he is actually good and useful in the pro play scene but like okay we're taking away some of the defense he gets for free in order to limit how easy it is for Graves to farm up in a few items and carry without fear of dying. Uh, I feel like the thing about Graves is after he hits his power spikes item, like uh, like after two or three items, he's just too insane. But like before that, before that, I, I think they shouldn't touch the early game or something like that. Reducing by at least one to two auto attacks. And one skill shot maybe and then you you yeah, it's just weird champ mana regen gets gets nerfed out of nowhere like what the fuck okay kaisa kaisa has been a dominant pick in highly skilled play as well as coordinated play we're cutting down on her trading power burst and wave clear by lowering base damage on in katian rain <laughs> what the fuck i don't know how to pronounce this this word but leaving her scaling intact so she can still perform her role in the later game. Down by 10 across all levels. Base damage per missile. Hmm. Max single target damage. Well, it's just it's just 20 damage. I think I think it doesn't hurt. I think it doesn't hurt. I feel like Kaisa is still a very strong and well balanced uh well balanced uh fucking pick. Mainly because she can she can dive. It's per missile that's big. I feel like it's still a, it's still a strong pick, but however, I predict I predict ha, there will be some. Wait, who's the champion? Wait, let me see. I predict there will be some ADCs that will pop off in uh, Super Summer. Hey, wait, Horizon Cup, like uh, Draven, Corky, Varus, Zaya. Yeah, mainly Draven. I think Draven will be a a sleeper pick in in fucking in fucking horizon man tristana maybe not i still feel like her scaling is too slow lucy lucy is still underperforming in a dragoon lane despite recent buffs so we're increasing the damage of the calling to bring him to the line of bring him in line with other marksmen i'm not an mm main i'm not a adc main so this 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 is, I, I have no clue i have no clue about this buff but yeah honestly i, <laughs> I have zero clue about it. that's quite stonks really okay nami nami has been top of the support chain yeah i feel like i feel like nami in pro play has been providing a lot of value mainly because you can disengage and engage with the fucking ult and the bobil the bobil the bobil is just too insane to combo with uh ccs or if you can land it independently holy shit that's that's like you're floating on fucking clouds bro and then next thing you know when you come down poof you're gone so nami has been nami has been a really really good pick her e holy shit she has heal oh god trindy what the fuck didn't didn't they just buff trindomir since the release of his rework trindomir has been overperforming in our jungle ah okay we're pulling back on the bonus attack speed gain from his passive to reduce the power of his early ganks and tone down his late game power spike 
So five, ten, five, five, ten, and fifteen. What? I think it's still a little bit busted. I just think that once because he just got his rework, right? People don't know how to play, uh, play around his passive and everything. So naturally, his win rate, those that one trick, those that one trick Trinomirs will will skyrocket the data to absurd uh, absurd percentages. So I think it's just it's just weird. But whatever, man. Okay, that, that, that's it. That's actually a weak patch, a weak balance. Okay, let's see the items. Game play changes. Ooh, BBC, huh? BBC has been underperforming in comparison to other options like Trinity Force, Death Dance, and every slot for most fighters. Fuck off. Actually, fuck off. What the fuck? No. DD DD is just an uh, is just an item to complement Trinity Force or to complement BBC. I feel like. You don't want Death Dance as a as a soul item as a as a first item for most of the champions. It used to be good. It used to be good if you back in the day when there's Olaf, you know, and I don't know what champion you use DD for first item, but it was it was in season one, season two kind of meta, and I used to play that. We don't want to swing too far in the opposite direction, so we're cautiously giving it a buff. A light above. Oh no. I feel like this is a insane, insane change. This is a indirect buff to, to champions. Like, uh, like, uh, of course. Uh, Uri, Renaton, Riven. Oi, oi, oi. This is bad. This is bad. This is a, a indirect buff to the one of the few best and most picked champions in the Baroon lane. Oh no. Oh no, that's uh BBC. That's BBC for you. Oh no, Last Whisperer, and its upgrades offer extremely powerful anti-armor itemization for physical damage carries. Okay, so armor pen is reduced by ten. This is the this is the one point three k item, right? And then mortal reminder. Armor pen. Oh, yo. This is a huge nerf to Zed mains, a huge nerf to potentially ADCs that buy buy this item. I think I have no clue. Holy shit, that's actually a lot. Yo, almost fifty percent, almost forty to fifty percent nerf in the early game. Holy shit, that means you can't rush this uh rush this item anymore. Ah, oh, what? And it's increased by one hundred and fifty. Hey yo! Cyrilda is also increased by a hundred. What? Oh no! That's a huge nerf to ADC. That means you that means that means in the early game if you buy if you get if you get Amor you get Amor, it's actually so so valuable now. You can't just you, you can't just get armor pen and just shred the the, the fucking armor. I mean not shred, but you, you penetrate the armor. Holy shit, this is actually pretty good. Attack damage reduced by five. Pong. Oh no. ADC mains? Question mark? Okay, that's a, that's a pretty huge nerf. <laughs> oh no. Force of nature. Magic resistant choices for tanks are not quite sufficient when tanks are dealing with significant magic damage. We're buffing up the magic resistance on spirit visage and force of nature slightly. To make them more powerful when dealing with magic damage, particularly enemy positions, compositions with multiple threats. Oh, come on. Come on. This is bullshit. Nobody uses this item anymore. Nobody uses this item anymore. Why Why get Spirit Visage when you have Force of Nature? When you have, uh, when you have stacking, stacking kind of magic resist against similar abilities? I don't know what the fuck uh, what the fuck is uh is the correct way but uh unless you're mundo unless you're mundo then you'll get like fucking spirit visage it's actually stupid but this item is dead ever since force of nature came out i feel like the usage of visage is just bad 
For healing? Who? Who? Who will want healing? So, Raka? Huh? Who? Nasus? Who? iPhone 13 users? Huh? Okay, that's all. What the fuck? That's actually pretty bad. <laughs> I think the key highlights of this patch is Jace for, for us normies that, are, that is not participating in Horizon Cup. Jace and Caitlyn. And I think they miss out on a lot of uh, a lot of meta picks, a lot of uh, a lot of ways to deal with the meta. Like this is unnecessary. I don't think action will be shown in action will be prioritized in, in fucking Horizon Cup. Darius is okay. I feel like this is okay because he's kind of meta. So slightly nerfing the 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 Q's heal is okay. I don't mind. Galio. Pretty pong. I like this also. Graves is a little weird. I feel like they should they should tone down the late game scalability instead of his early game. Uh, the early game Graves is already so bad. Like if you manage if you manage to to bust him down in the early game, his late game is even worse, dude. Like come on. Kaisa is okay. I like this. That means it it opens up to a lot more. A lot more picks. I think a lot of teams fall back on Kaisa if they don't have the stronger picks like uh, APC, Ziggs, Varus Poke, or the Zaya Rakan combo. I think Kaisa would be a, a a good fallback for teams like like to use her. Hmm. Interesting. Lucian, ever since her, ever since his big nerf. He hasn't been seen a lot of play, not gonna lie, although we've seen him in mid in uh, in the Sea Champs, but uh, that's all. Nami, Nami is pretty good, but I feel like they should uh, they should really adjust the the E though. The E heal and everything, it's like, it's like Yana 2.0, maybe 3.0, holy shit. Uh, this Nami is the new Yana, back in the day, back in season 1, season 2, Yana, holy shit. She's dominating the fucking Enchanter support. When Seraphine gonna be meta? I wanna pa pa ri pi pi pa pa pa. You know? Trinomir, I think this is just for... Uh, this is just for the commoners and normies like us in ranked. That doesn't know how to deal with this with this passive. BBC is... Uh, yo, I think this... 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 This buff to BBC is just weird, champ. I think the weirdest of weird... It's just this. BBC buff. BBC doesn't need buff. Right? Like, holy shit. Like, I think Kha'Zix. What what meta champions actually use? I don't think Kha'Zix will be played in pro play. But Renaton and Riven will be using this as one of the core items. So it's, it's pretty bad. It's pretty bad to buff this. It is such a huge buff. I think BBC alone, even though he before the five attack damage, it's still it's very gold efficient. So having this five extra damage is just uh, is just too much. Last spirit, what, last whisper. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with them, but uh, I feel like it's a okay nerf to armor pen. So right now you you can't rush uh, these items. You can rush to kill squishies or like whatever. And it, it brings more value if you buy Amor in the early game. At least, at least a, at least a Bremo vest could, uh, could bring so much value into, uh, with these two items. Bremo vest, now it's like, if you get 40 Amor, you get almost 30 plus. So technically, you're still tanky, and you still deal a little, a little grievous, uh, a little less, but it's still it's still a good item. Force of nature, this is uh this is also like okay, I guess. But yeah, whatever, man. Overall, I give this patch, I give this patch out of ten, maybe a. I feel like I feel like it, it's around 5.9, 5.9. The the boosters are Caitlyn, 
The boosters are Caitlyn and Jace. It's a 5.9. It's a 5.9. It, it, it will never hit the, 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 the 6.0 mark. Never. I just don't think they, they could hit the 6.0. But still, nonetheless, they're, they're prepping for tournaments and everything. So, uh, hell yeah. Okay. I'll catch you guys tomorrow for another stream. Bye, chat. Thank you for coming. Please, if you enjoy the content, you can go sub my YouTube channel. I upload daily, bro. I upload daily. Go click it. Oh, no, that's too much. Wait, is it Kid Comrade? Go, uh, if you missed the stream, please go subscribe. Thank you all for coming. Thank you, mods. Thank you, followers. Thank you, subscribers. And uh, thank you. Really appreciate it. Today, not really feeling it, but I still have to stream. I still have to, I still have to come uh, be online. But yeah. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a great night. New song playlist, same baboon. No, today I'm lethargic. I'm exhausted. Uh, uh, yeah. Probably I should show you guys. No. I can't. Never mind. Okay, bye chat. Have a nice night. See you tomorrow.